Okay, well, uh, before we look at the, before we look at the, does somebody want to make a motion on this amendment? I'll make a motion of budget pass. On uh, amendment 0644. 064480. I'll second. I think what this does, what happens, puts into the statutes what is happening on the outside right now. I have witnessed police officers who took a uh, night away from a fellow who was driving on Route 95, and after a half an hour of talking with him and so forth, dropped it down the sewer and ran a lot of guns. And, and the, my feeling is that if you're going to have a law, it should be enforced. And I, I, I'm, I'm going to vote for this. Because I think it will. I, I just wanted to make a comment that even if we did have to pay for it. It's cheaper to pay to educate people about it than to put them in jail. But we're not, we are not paying for it. I agree on that. But if I, I do. I, I particularly like uh, lines 15 uh, to lines 21 because I think we talk a lot about the government getting involved in our lives and most of us don't like that very much. And in this law, it says that the offender's parents or legal guardians shall be notified of the offense, which is a really great thing that parents are going to have to get involved whether they want to or not. And the person has to go to a drug awareness program at their own expense. Um, they have to go in, involved in community service to be completed within one year. And you have to show uh, proof of completion of the uh, community service and drug awareness. And I think that's really putting the responsibility on the person to me, you know, not into the person. It all sounds nice, but uh, I'd like to know what is the advantage of going with this piece of legislation that we, we already have as laws in this great state of New Hampshire. Um, I'll admit. Somebody I'd like to respond to that. It's, it's like to respond to that, that it keeps kids out of the criminal justice system and reduces the amount of uh, time that people are in the court system, which are getting smaller and smaller. It puts the responsibility back into the family where it belongs, and it uh, essentially decriminalizes. We don't we don't need to be arresting <coughs> and convicting people for possessing a quarter ounce of marijuana. And I think it would save us a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of trouble, and the criminal justice system to be doing the things they're supposed to be doing. In, you know, this is, uh, I think this is a very reasonable um, approach to it. To the thing, marijuana, you know. And uh, what was your other issue? The, the, oh, the drug awareness. There are drug awareness in, in high schools. They, they have them in high schools. They have them in elementary schools. They have them over at the diversion programs. They, I mean, they're all over the Are you talking you know. about the DEA program? That's one of them, which it's the worst program they ever put out there. Well, I mean, but you're, I, I, I in all common, all respect to you. Well, no, I, I mean, you were saying other. Representative Sharon and then Representative Swinton. Okay. Uh, the bill does cover 18 and over an 18 below. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. And I still, I'm almost there. <laughs> yeah. I'm not 18. I'm believable. But where? Representative Sharon. It's up for an adult the, mistake. Then Representative Sharon and then Representative Ruby. My partner here pointed something out. You're always telling me thunder. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Does this alleviate my concern when we go right down to the bottom of line 28 after 29? Mm -hmm. yes. When it says that it shall not apply if the controlled drug is a quarter ounce or less of marijuana as provided in the 318-B2C. Yes. Does that eliminate my concern? Yes. 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 Representative Robinson, the representative of Pamela yeah. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but I never quite understood why I can get out of the liquor store and buy a case of scotch and put it in my car and drive home, or I can go to the grocery store and buy a case of beer. Why is suddenly, because it's in my car, this marijuana, it doesn't mean I'm smoking it or using it in the car, just 
Well, I'm not drinking the beer till I get home. I, but if I drink the beer in the car, then I've committed a crime. But if it's just in my, I never quite understood. If it's open, what? What? Well, tobacco is open. It was something I dialogue you. I don't. Yeah. Why is it so serious? If my the marijuana is in my car, wrapped in cellophane or tinfoil or whatever. But they're going to lock his down no, no, some I channel. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I would just respond to Tim. This is, it's because the scotch is legal and the marijuana is not legal, and the marijuana still will not be legal in this case. Right, but, I, but it, why does it keep pointing it out if you're transporting it to find the bigger or the it's another? It's still thing? going to be an illegal substance. Mm -hmm. yeah. The bottle is over. Okay. <laughs> the other questions or comments before the uh, clerk calls the roll? Uh, I just want to say before, whether this is voted up or down, I just want to commend all of you for the very excellent debate on this subject. You all should be very proud of yourselves. The motion is not to pass on uh, Amendment uh, 0644H. Oh, one more question from Representative Ruby. Did we get any information on debate on the Safety? Yeah, they would say no. Yeah, I think we had some. Well, I'll never use their own memory of what was said at the uh, hearing or their own notes. Well, that will ask the to call the roll and motion not to pass on the amendment. Colonel Lockett. Yes. Ruby. Yes. Robertson. Aye. Obsession. Aye. Cushion. Aye. Rye. Yes. Chandler. Aye. McCarthy. Yes. Welch. Yes. Sharon. Yes. Fesh. Yes. Weir. No. Stevens. Yes. Dillon. Aye. Gagan. Yes. Swinford. Yes. Black. Yes. Jim. Yes. Two, three, two. Checking me out. Seventeen to one. Bless you. Representative White, did you have? Yes, I'd like to make a further um, motion to pass as amended. Second. Motion second. Did you want to speak any further to the motion? I think we've covered everything. Okay. Is there any other questions or comments before the clerk calls the roll? Seeing none, I'll speak for you now. Seeing none, when the clerk's ready. And ready, seconded. Mm -hmm. I'd like to speak before we go. Oh, by all means. Yeah, uh, I voted for the amendment, which I think is good. Still have any problem with second offense. There's nothing even addressed. And that is the reason I will vote against it. But the amendment, I think, is going in a better direction. Any other questions or comments? Team members, we should be ready. General Atkins? Yes. Peruvian? Yes. Robertson? Aye. No session? Aye. Cushion? Yes. Ron? Yes. Chandler? Aye. McCarthy? Yes. Welch? Yes. Sharon? Yes. Fesh? Yes. Weir? No. Stevens? No. Villano? Aye. Gagney? Yes. Swinford? Yes. Gillette? Yes. Chairman? Yes. I'm doing this so the adults can have their regulation recreation sports. Is there a 16 to 2? Is there any objection to any objection to this going on the consent calendar? 16 to 2. Okay. If you want, I can probably go on the calendar. No, no. No, put it on the consent. Yes. I'm sure it's going to be appropriate. I'm sure it is too. I'm sure. Now it's going to be like, don't Again, thank you all for the discussion on that. Uh, we have 1673. I think it's. I think it's.